Namaskar. Uh, we will now continue uh, with our module on uh, the uh, psychological influences on consumer decision making, which is module 6, uh, where we have been uh, actually discussing consumer needs and motivation, emotions and moods and consumer involvement. Uh, this particular module is uh, 6.1, where we have already discussed in the previous a few sessions, consumer needs and motivations as well as emotions and moods. Today we will be discussing uh, consumer uh, involvement and in consumer involvement uh, we shall be talking of uh, the meaning, nature and types of consumer involvement as well as the mechanism underlying the consumer involvement process. So, um, these two uh, topics we will be discussing today and subsequently in the concluding session on module 6.1 which will be our next session we will be discussing the rest of uh, the um, uh, rest of our topics in involvement which will be consumer behavior models based on involvement and consumer involvement and implications for the marketer. So, let us today talk of uh, topic 6.1.7 which is meaning, nature and types of consumer involvement and topic 6.1.8 which is mechanism underlying the consumer involvement process. So, uh, to begin with uh, uh, involvement is another uh, topic or another very important component which relates to motivation. We have discussed motivation as an inner urge to move towards a particular goal to satisfy a particular need or at reach a goal state which is satisfaction of a need. So, um, involvement has an impact on motivation in terms of the manner in which uh, a person approaches the marketplace or with, the, uh, with respect to the level of in intensity in the interest and in the purchase process as a whole. So, based on that uh, we basically define consumer involvement. Uh, we will begin with defining involvement and then we will see how uh, we how can we relate it to consumers and what is consumer involvement and how it impacts the purchase decision process. But before we do that I will just like to make point here that when we talk of motivation uh, how strongly uh, are we in an urge to satisfy a particular need or want uh, basically uh, gets related to our involvement levels. Uh, whether we are st very strongly motivated will mean that the, the level of involvement with the purchase or the purchase situation uh, is going to be high. On the other hand, when the, the, the urge is lower or we are on a lower state of motivation, we do uh, complete the purchase process, but the involvement level is a little lower, it is somewhat weaker. So, uh, the intensity, the, the, dev, the level of intensity of interest will basically uh, determine uh, our the involvement level and it will be, it will be related to motivation. Uh, how strongly or how uh, you know moderately or how lowly we are motivated uh, will have an impact uh, is impacted by and will impact consumer involvement. So, um, involvement is basically defined as a psychological state that motivates people to be more aware and more careful about persons objects or situations. So, it is a it is a psychological state that basically motivates people to be more aware, uh, to be more involved aware and to be more um, uh, conscious about pe pe persons, about situations and about objects. So, it actually indicates a level of importance that the person attaches. So, that is what as I just said a few minutes ago that it is this importance which will actually have a role to play in the level of motivation uh, with which a person moves to satisfy a particular need or want. Now, uh, talking of um, involvement, we say that in, in the context of a marketplace, uh, when we talk of the personal importance that a person attaches to persons, objects or situations. So, here uh, persons, objects and situations uh, get manifested in the form, form of companies or brands or product situations. Uh, or purchase situations as a whole. So, there are uh, when we talk of motivation we say that there are high and low involvement consumers and there are high and low involvement purchases. Now, high and low involvement 
consumers are with respect to characteristics of the consumer, but high and low involvement purchases are, uh, characterist are, with, are related to or are characteristic of the product or service offering or the purchase uh, decision process or the purchase situation. So, the level of involvement may be either related to the consumer and is characteristic of the consumer or it may be related to the purchase purchase and will be related to the product or service offering or the purchase situation or the occasion or the uh, purchase uh, the decision making consumer decision making process now let us come to the meaning of involvement consumer involvement so consumer involvement uh, is a state of mind that motivates consumers to identify with product or service offerings uh, with brands uh, with their consumption patterns and consumption behavior. Uh, involvement actually leads to a state of mind where a consumer has an urge to look for and think about a product and service category and look at the various options before making a decision with respect to brand preferences and the final act of purchase. So, it is actually a state of mind that motivates consumers to identify with their product or service offerings, their consumption patterns and consumption behavior. Uh, it will have an impact on consumers in the sense that uh, it, is, it, will have, it, it will affect the urge with which consumers, uh, you know, uh, ha, with which consumers possess the need or uh, look for product or service offerings to satisfy this particular need or want the manner in which they will evaluate uh, they will they will uh, collect information gather information evaluate information form their brand preferences and make a final choice with respect to the act of purchase so uh, the the man the, the it actually involvement creates in consumers an urge to look around uh, for product or service offerings uh, before actually making the final act of purchase they will look around they will evaluate they will gather information they will evaluate varying options varying alternatives and uh, form preferences and finally make an act of purchase now the person who is credited uh, with um, a lot of work on uh, consumer involvement is uh, a very famous researcher called krugman uh, herbert krugman is uh, credited with his contribution to the concept of um, involvement and he said that consumers approach uh, the marketplace or they approach uh, the marketplace and uh, the uh, product or service offering or uh, the store or the mix as a whole uh, with varying levels of intensity of interest and personal importance. So, this is what he defined as consumer involvement. Uh, Krugman uh, assumed correctly that uh, consumers are different because they are different they will approach the marketplace in a way in a different manner uh, the manner in which a person approaches the marketplace for a particular product or service for purchase of a particular product or service offering will be very different uh, from another person who approaches the marketplace for the same product or service offering um, also in certain cases this first person or person a who had earlier approached the marketplace uh, with uh, some level of interest and involvement may not be in a position to approach the marketplace with the same level of interest and involvement in another situation. So, uh, involvement will vary across pr people number one across people, two across product and service categories and three also across situations. So, uh, the level of interest uh, you know and the personal importance that a person will attach to a particular purchase situation to the marketplace to the product or service offering will vary across people across product and services and across situations so uh, that this is what we actually refer to as varying levels of varying in varying levels of consumer involvement which are categorized as high involvement or low involvement so i i i repeat that uh, people approach the marketplace with varying levels of interest and and a personal importance and uh, so, the amount of interest that a person shows or the amount of involvement which he shows will be different to what another shows. This will also vary across product or service categories and this will also vary across situations. So, this is what this is how Herbert Krugman actually um, defined involvement. So, uh, involvement also uh, also indicates the amount of physical and mental effort that a person will put in 
in a particular act of purchase. So, it, yes, we, we agree that it is the level of intensity of interest and personal importance that a person attaches to a purchase situation or to a pro product or service offering. Uh, we are clear on that, we agree on that, but it is also, in, it's also basically manifested in the form of the physical and mental effort which a person will put in in a purchase situation. The physical and cognitive effort that he will put in while he is into the deci purchase decision making process. So, involvement also uh, clearly indicates the level of uh, physical and mental effort that a person will put in in a purchase situation. This will again vary across people, across product and cat service categories and across uh, situations, thus making um, you know uh, purchases, high involvement purchases or low involvement purchases or high involving products and low involvement products. So, um, it basically creates within a person a level of relevance or importance that he attaches to a product or service offering and it leads uh, to him in an urge in him to collect information, to interpret information uh, not only for his present usage, but also for future decision making and use. So, that is how we say uh, in, in involvement affects consumer decision making and the sub processes of information search, information processing and information transmission. Schiffman has put it uh, very beautifully and uh, he says that involvement is a heightened state of awareness that motivates consumers to seek out, attend to and think about product information prior to purchase. So, when we talk about uh, information uh, processing, uh, information search, information processing and information transmission, uh, if we relate it to Schiffman's definition, we see that how a person is in a heightened state of awareness which motivates him to seek information, which is searching for information. Attending to information um, means information processing and uh, you know also information transmission and then thinking about a product or product or thinking about the product information before making a final purchase. So, it is basically perceived uh, that the interest and importance that a person attaches to the acquisition and the consumption of a product or service offering. Now, um, as I just said a little while ago, uh, consumers uh, involvement of consumers uh, who make purchase decision will vary across people, across product and service offerings as well as purchase situation and time in hand. Some people are more involved in, a pro in, in purchase processes than others. For example, a person who has high level of interest in a product category would spend a lot of time making a decision with regard to the product, with regard to the brand. He would compare uh, different brands across different evaluative criteria be it features or be it uh, attributes or be it prices. Uh, he would also, uh, you know, uh, he will be, he will try and put in a lot of effort to basically collect information about these evaluative criteria and then he, he, he will uh, compare brands across various attributes. So, he will be more involved in the purchase process than others. Uh, we could have another example where we see a person who is, uh, who, who does not like to take risks, who is a risk averse, he would also take a longer time making a purchase decision. So, the level, the level of involvement either physical or cognitive will vary across people, will vary across uh, purchase situations and uh, will depend upon also the product and service category and the situation in hand. So, a person, some people will spend a lot of money, sorry, a lot of time and effort uh, before they, they take a decision to spend money. On the other hand, uh, there will be other people who will not be that involved in the, in, in this information search, evaluation and transmission. In other words to say they may not be very highly uh, involved in the physical or the cognitive process, they will not put in uh, too much of effort on the physical or cognitive uh, effort that, that, that goes into purchase of a particular product or service offering. Uh, people also, uh, because people are different, people who are risk aversive will again spend a lot of time. So, they will be involved in the product category, uh, in, the pro, in the purchase situation. So, uh, that is how we say that uh, purchase decision will vary across people. Some people will be highly involved 
they will collect information, evaluate information, uh, make a lot of effort, you know, physically and cognitively before they will visit a lot of dealers, they will go to a lot of shops, they will inquire on a lot of uh, things, they will get a lot of information, they will talk to people and finally take a decision with respect to the product whether they have to buy. So, such people will be highly involved and again people who uh, do not like to take risks will also be uh, very involved and they will take a lot of time before they take a final decision. Now, uh, this is uh, where we say that involvement varies across people. Now, let us come to how involvement varies across product and services offerings. So, here as I just said involvement varies across product and services service offerings. Some products are high involvement products. So, what are high involvement products? We have also discussed high involvement products in our earlier sessions. They are those products that are expensive, that have that are high in value, they are expensive, they possess uh, some amount of perceived risk, they are purchased irregularly, very infrequently. Once purchased, the action is irrevocable, they cannot be uh, returned, they cannot be exchanged for. So, such goods and services are, are high, involve, high, high involvement uh, products where I repeat they are, exp they are high in value for money, they are expensive, they are irregularly purchased, very infrequently purchased. Uh, the level of perceived risk is high and once purchased they cannot be returned uh, the action purchase action is irrevocable the products can neither be returned nor they can be uh, basically exchanged uh, they, they may not always be in you know exchanged so that is they are high involvement products on the other hand we have low involvement products which are moderately expensive or generally inexpensive okay and they uh, the level of perceived risk associated with them is very low or negligible and these are purchased on a regular basis so if we see um, when we compare a high involvement product with a low involvement product we'll see how uh, across the product categories uh, the level of involvement will vary uh, with products which are high involvement products people will spend a lot of mind lot of time collecting information evaluating it you know and then finally making a purchase decision on the other hand, for uh, low involvement products, they generally become routinized purchases and people become brand conscious, brand loyal with them. And even if um, you know they are not hardcore loyals, they may be soft loyals or they may be even be switchers. So, it hardly matters the, the, if a particular product is not available, they will settle down for something else. And a person, because these products are available on a routine basis, uh, purchased on a routine basis, the, the person will not put in lot of effort either in terms of physical terms or in terms of um, you know cognitive uh, to collect information or to evaluate them. It is going to be just a repeat order or a repeat purchase and uh, it becomes very habitual in nature. So, the level of involvement with respect to high in, uh, expensive products infrequently purchased where level of perceived risk is high will be high involvement. On the other hand for purchases where level of perceived risk is low very infrequently purchased and which are inexpensive the level of involvement becomes low ok. Now, moving beyond uh, we see that a consumer involvement uh, such consumer involvement based on personal traits or on the nature of product or service offering is also impacted uh, by two other things one is the situation and the other is the time in hand. Uh, sometimes due to time constraints or due to emergency situations, a consumer may spend very little time on a purchase decision and uh, buying activity in spite of the fact that it is a high, very high involving product or uh, a very high as a person uh, by, per, by his personality traits is very high involving or by, as a characteristic of the product uh, they are high involvement products. Uh, so, in spite of the fact that the situation that the product is high involving or the consumer is a high in involved highly involved con person by his own nature we see the amount of effort that they will spend will be very very little for example you know you have a case where uh, we may be very particular about buying a medicine uh, from a store and checking out for, from a particular store and also checking out on the expiry date. So, uh, I may be a person who does not buy from any and every medical store, but I am very particular about the buy, buy medicines from a particular chemist only and I am very particular about checking uh, the expiry date and looking at other details on, on, on the package. But uh, in times of an emergency, I may not just have the time to visit that particular chemist who is about say uh, 5 kilometers away 
or I, even if I visit him, I may not have the time to check out on the expiry date because I don't have time in hand. Uh, there is an emergency situation, and the per, and a patient needs. I mean, I, my my mother or my brother or my, anybody in my family needs a medicine immediately. So in such a case, uh, the level of involvement. Although medi I I am very particular as a consumer, I am high involving by my personal characteristics, and uh, the product is also high involvement product. Medicines are always very you know high involving. They may not be expensive, but the level of perceived risk makes them high involving by nature. So, in spite of the fact that involvements are high, I do not have the time to spend on the purchase process, neither do I have the time to check out on the uh, you know the, the expiry date, nor do I have the time to go and buy from that particular chemist. So, I buy the medicine from any counter or any chemist which is uh, nearest uh, lo you know located to the to my to, to nearest uh, location or uh, I just pay the money and take the tablet home and I give the tablet to my mother maybe without checking the expiry date. So, in such a case uh, although the product is a high involving product and the I as a consumer I am involving, but because of the buying situation which is an emergency situation and because of lesser time in hand I may not uh, be uh, you know uh, the, the purchase situation may not in, involve a high involvement purchase, but it becomes uh, by need by by situation or by by you know to, because of the time uh, I may end up making my decision very quickly or making a purchase very very quickly and so the level of physical or cognitive effort which is put in will be very very low. So that is how we say that in spite of a person uh, in spite of the personal traits or in spite of the nature of the product or service offering being high on involvement. Uh, the the purchases are also impacted or the consumer involvement is also impacted by the buying situation and the time in hand. So, uh, let us now come to the nature of consumer involvement. Uh, it is an inner urge that creates within an individual an interest or a desire to hold certain product or service offerings in greater relevance or importance. So, it is an inner urge which basically uh, create is you know forces an individual or compels an individual to hold uh, some product and service offerings with greater relevance with greater importance. So, it is an inner urge which actually comes up from with within which says yes I should be particular about this purchase or I should be more particular about this purchase or I should be less particular and need not put in more effort with respect to the purchase. So, it is an inner urge which makes us feel whether the involvement levels will be high or in involvement levels will be low. Second, involvement possesses certain properties. Uh, we will discuss these properties. The first property which involvement possesses is level of strength and intensity. So, uh, this level of strength and intensity basically determines the degree of involvement which a person possesses. This could be high or low. A highly involved consumer will search for information, collect facts, compare the various brands and based on the information and then finally, he will try to look in for similarities or dissimilarities across various alternatives and he will finally, make a choice. So, the degree of involvement which he possesses will be uh, can be high can in, in case of a highly involved customer will be high. So, in other words they will thus consumer will collect information process and integrate information very intensely and finally, arrive at a decision with respect to the brand choice. On the other hand, if there is a person who is low on the level of involvement, he would not put in so much of effort either collecting information or processing information about varying alternatives and he will not be very particular about uh, you know putting in lot of physical, physical or cognitive effort to uh, take a decision. So, the level of intense strength and intensity will determine basically the degree of involvement uh, whether it is going to be low or whether it is going to be high. Uh, second is the second property which involvement uh, possesses is a level of persistence. So, persistence here means the length of time that the consumer remains in this heightened state. Uh, this could be again short term and situational or uh, with, with respect to the product or service category or it could be long term and enduring. So, the length of time that a consumer remains in the heightened state will basically uh, determine his level of persistence and it could be something which could either be short term and situational with respect to the product or service offering and the purchase situation or it could be uh, something which is long term and persistent and enduring. 
Uh, the third uh, property which we see here is that involvement can be directed to any or all of the elements of the marketing mix. So, a person may show an involvement towards the product in terms of the features, attributes or benefits or uh, he could show involvement towards the price or towards the dealer or even towards the promotional mix or the communication mix. So, uh, if you see, if we look at uh, these properties, we will see that it is the level of strength and intensity which will determine whether the purchase, uh, in the level of involvement will be high or low. The, the, the uh, level of persistence will show whether uh, the involvement is going to be long term or short term or it is going to be something which is enduring or situational. And uh, also the level of involvement does not only pertain to the product, it could also relate to the price, it could relate to the store or the place where it is being sold or it could also relate to the marketing communication in the form of an advertisement or a uh, sales promotion effort and the like. So, uh, this these are some of the properties of involvement. Now, let us come to uh, the mechanism underlying uh, the process of an, um, involvement. You know, as a process, involvement is impacted by certain antecedents that get restrained by moderating factors and finally affect the degree of intensity and the level of persistence. So, uh, when we talk about um, the degree of intensity of interest, high or low, or we talk of level of persistence, long term and enduring or short term and situational, we will see that this is impacted by two things. One is the antecedents which get restrained or which get moderated by what we call as moderating factors. So, both the antecedent factors and the moderating factors will affect the degree of intensity and the level of persistence that involvement holds. So, let us come to the antecedent factors. Now, Antecedent means something which precedes. So, there are certain factors which precede and lead to involvement. So, these uh, factors are referred to as antecedents. Antecedents to consumer involvement can include the person and his individual determinants, the object stimuli or the product or service offering and the situation in hand. So, let us discuss these antecedents um, in, in, in a little bit of a uh, detail. Now, the person himself and individual determinants uh, will include uh, the person and his motives, needs, his learnings, experiences, his attitudes, his interests, his personality, his lifestyle, his social class, his values, his interests, all of which will have a bearing on his level of involvement. Products which relate to his image, to his self concept uh, will lead to higher involvement. Similarly, those products which, uh, which, which are related to social class uh, and have a bearing on his lifestyle will again uh, have a bearing on will have an impact on consumer involvement. Uh, the second antecedent is the object stimuli or the product or service offering. So, when we talk of the object stimuli or the product or service offering, uh, they could basically mean uh, the it could they could relate either to the product or service or to the brand. Uh, the greater the product differentiation, the greater would be the level of involvement. Um, varying yet or comparable alternatives impacts the level of involvement. It can also be impacted by features, benefits, attributes uh, or as associate value of brand offerings, brand image, brand equity and very importantly uh, the level of risk or the associated risk levels. Pos products and services uh, which possess a high level of risk involve uh, in, uh, higher levels of consumer involvement. So, uh, the what we are talking of here is the object stimuli or the product which could mean alternative brands. The greater the product differentiation, the greater the brand differentiation, the greater will be the level of involvement. The higher the level of risk associated with the product or the brand, again the higher, the higher will be the level of involvement. So, involvement is impacted by attributes, benefits, features, brands, brand image, brand equity and risk levels. Uh, the third antecedent to um, uh, the third antecedent to uh, involvement, consumer involvement is situation. So, the occasion or the situation or the reason for purchase also has an impact on consumer involvement. For example, while gifting to a person who is very special to you, we are very careful about the product or the brand. Also, while gifting to near, uh, gifting to self or to near and dear ones on special occasions, we are extremely conscious about the kind of products and services and the brands we buy as opposed to something which we buy on routine occasions or on regular 
regular uh, routinized purchases. Also stop social pressure, social pressure impacts consumer level of involvement. What do we mean by social pressure? Social pressure we mean uh, whether we are shopping alone or we are shopping with friends. When alone we may eat at any place, we may buy from any place, but when we are with our friends, when we are with our peers or when we are with any of our colleagues, uh, we are very conscious about the kind of products that we buy or the kind of brands that we use. So, a social, so, so situation here will also include social pressure and social um, norms. Another uh, important um, uh, you know, element here in social in situation is social visibility. Um, the level of consumer involvement will increase in case of social uh, visibility of both the product category and the brand. In case uh, the product is going to be used in public or is going to be viewed by many people or the brand is going to be viewed by is going to be used in public or viewed by many people. In both these cases, the level of involvement will increase. So, uh, social involvement impacts. Social visibility in impacts level of involvement. It will increase in case of social visibility of both product category as well as purchase activity. Um, we will discuss this later when we talk about certain certain um, models on consumer involvement in the next session. We will talk about product and brand involvement in little detail then. Okay, another thing which impacts uh, involvement is the time commitment to purchase. Uh, irrespective of the time that we, is, is, irrespective of the fact that the product is a high involving product or a person as I just said person bears characteristics or personality traits which, uh, which make him a high involving per, per person, he may not be able to take a decision uh, with lot of time and effort because, because of the emergency situation or because of very little time in hand. So, uh, the time commitment to purchase will also impact uh, the uh, purchase the like level of consumer involvement we call it decision imminence so when people are to take when people have very little time in hand and they have to take very quick decisions uh, and act have to act fast and act quickly in that those cases they may not be able to spend a lot of time they may not be able to have put in lot of physical effort or cognitive effort in although the product is a high involving product and the person himself bears characteristics which which relate to high involvement uh, high involvement person. So, uh, we call this decision imminence. So, all of these basically act as um, antecedents, fa antecedent factors to the uh, to, to consumer involvement. So, uh, I repeat here, uh, we talk of uh, the person himself and his individual determinants which will involve his motives, needs, learnings, experiences, personality, self image, self concept, uh, social class values and interests. So, people are very conscious about their personality, about their self concept, about their social class and keeping all these things in mind, uh, they, they would have an impact on uh, the level of involvement with which he approaches a particular product or service offering or a brand. The object stimuli or the product here refers to uh, the product, the benefits, attributes, features of the product. It could also relate to product differentiation, brand differentiation, um, brand image, brand equity and level of risk and finally, when we talk of situation, we are talking for about the purchase situation, the occasion, the reason for purchase, whether it is for self or whether it is for gifting and for others, whether it is on a regular occasion or whether it is on a special occasion, whether uh, it is, uh, whether it is in term, you know, whether it is uh, the product or is, or is something which is going to be viewed by others. Uh, or, or it is going to be used in private, whether you are shopping with alone or with peers and friends. So, things like social pressure, social uh, influence and um, uh, social visibility will also have an impact on involvement. And yes, the time available in hand definitely acts as an antecedent because you may not be having a lot of time to make certain decisions which are actually high involvement decisions and you may have to act very quickly. So, we call it decision imminence. So, these are the various factors which basically are act as antecedents to the uh, to the process of consumer involvement. Now, let us come to the moderating factors uh, where um, which impact uh, the uh, and just which have an impact on uh, on on consumer involvement or on the degree of intensity and the level of persistence. So, what are these uh, moderating factors? Now, um, 
the factors that restrain uh, the impact of antecedents uh, or they moderate the impact of antecedents. Uh, so, finally, uh, in, in a way having final, finally influencing the level of involvement will include one the opportunity available to a person to collect information and to collect facts and information. Second is uh, cognitive ability to process information and st store information and draw conclusions and third again the time available in hand. So, uh, if you look at this, uh, we see that, uh, you know, uh, if you look at uh, the, the nature of uh, involvement and we see uh, that, you know, there are antecedents and moderating factors which have an impact on in consumer involvement, we will see that these moderating factors include things like whether a person has the opportunity to collect information, uh, collate it and whether he has the ability to comprehend this information, to process it. Uh, to retain it, store it and to use it later on or to even in the present use to, to does, does he have the ability to draw valid conclusions and what is the time available in his hand. So, all of these will basically act as moderating elements, they will have an impact on the antecedents, they will moderate the an impact of antecedents and while moderating the impact of antecedents, they will have an impact finally on involvement, consumer involvement. So, while consumer involvement has certain antecedents, these are impact, these are moderated by the so called moderating factors and finally, once the antecedents are moderated by these moderating factors or restrained by these moderating forces, they will have a final impact on the level of interest and the level of persistence uh, or uh, the degree of uh, you know interest and uh, personal importance that a person attaches to the purchase process and to the purchase decision. Now, moving beyond to discuss further the uh, other uh, characteristics of consumer involvement, uh, we say that the antecedents, moderators and the properties of involvement finally converge to a response in terms of information search, processing, transformation, purchase decision and post purchase behavior. So, if we look at this, uh, consumer involvement affects the manner in which people will seek information or gather information, process information, transit information and finally make purchase decisions. So, if we look at all the five phases of the decision making process, we will see that um, you know uh, the antecedent moderators and properties of involvement uh, actually have an impact on each of these stages. Now, uh, let us speak first about information search. Highly involved consumers or consumers uh, with involved in a particular product category will actively search for information um, about the product category, about the various alternatives in contrast to people who are low on involvement. So, while people uh, who are high involvement uh, will be active seekers of information, those who are low on involvement will be passive recipients and active seekers will basically look at various sources of information, will put in deliberate efforts towards information gathering, they will be more active uh, in comparison to people who are low on uh, level of involvement. Uh, second information processing, uh, the information processing activity will also vary across people, uh, across high involvement consumers and low involvement consumers. High involvement consumers will process product information with greater depth, they will make uh, conclusions about brand preferences, about alternatives based on arguments, also based on counter arguments and they would tend to get emotionally charged very quickly either favorably because of likability of the brand or uh, unfavorably because of dislikability of the brand. So, not only will they process information uh, very carefully in greater depth uh, by you know uh, by through arguments and counter arguments and uh, they would it will also get emotionally very charged either favorably or unfavorably and they will also be in a position to evaluate more, more and more alternatives. Coming to the third uh, phase which is information transmission, highly involved consumers will basically talk more about the product or service category and about the various brands. Uh, they will talk with great ease, they will talk in great level of interest in great length as compared to consumers who are low on level of involvement. So, information transmission will also take place via word of mouth, positive word of mouth when uh, the brand seems favorable and negative word of mouth when the brand seems unfavorable. And finally, the purchase process, 
oh, sorry, I'm sorry, the purchase decision, the purchase decision also whether to buy or not to buy or to buy brand X over buy is complex for a high involvement consumer than for a low involvement consumer. And uh, finally, coming to the post-purchase behavior, consumers who are high on level of involvement make post-purchase evaluations about product usage more critically than those who are low on involvement. High involvement consumers are more difficult to please also. Okay, so marketer has to put in a lot of effort to basically satisfy them. And this is because not only have this does this have a not only does this satisfaction have a bearing on the future purchases, but also purchases of others who are opinion seekers from such people who are high involvement and maybe opinion leaders. So um, if we look at the various, if we look at the mechanism or the process of involvement, we will see that the antecedents, the moderators and the properties of involvement finally uh, converge uh, in a form of a response uh, with respect to information search, information processing, information transmission, purchase decision and post purchase behavior. So, the level of involvement will affect the manner in which they search for information, they process information, they transmit information, they make a purchase decision and uh, evaluate uh, post purchase outcomes. Uh, people who are high involved will look, put in more effort to search for information, they will be actively involved in the search for information, they will process information uh, very rationally uh, through with arguments and counter arguments and they are also likely to become emotionally charged. Um, with respect to information transmission, they will be, uh, they will like to talk about the product or service category to others and um, this will result in word of mouth, this will also result in uh, the opinion leadership or as opinion, uh, as opinion seekers, the, the people may go to these highly involved consu consumers who may be also become opinion leaders and the decision to buy or not to buy or to buy a particular brand over another is also impacted by levels of involvement and finally uh, the, the post purchase outcome or evaluation in terms of satisfaction or dissatisfaction will also be impacted by a level of involvement. People who are highly involved will, uh, will, very, will look at product usage, product consumption and usage and evaluate them or give feedback very rationally, very logically and they will also be hard to please and the marketer will have to put in lot of effort to basically please them. So, these are the various antecedent moderators, this is how the various antecedent moderators and properties of involvement will finally converge to a response in terms of information search, information processing, trans transmission, purchase, decision and post purchase behavior. Now, let us actually see uh, or talk about high and low involvement products and consumer decision making or the uh, you know we will uh, we will talk of high and low involvement products uh, we will uh, look at them in the context of a continuum which speaks from high involvement to low involvement and includes EPS, LPS and RPS. We have discussed EPS, LPS and RPS in our previous session. We talk of extensive problem solving, limited problem solving and routinized problem solving. So, extensive problem solving is towards the higher involvement, continuum on higher involvement and RPS on a continuum towards lower involvement. And then we have the consumer decision making stages uh, right from problem recognition, information search, evaluation of alternatives, purchase and post purchase. So, let us see when we talk of problem recognition in case of high involvement uh, or in case of EPS, it is actually an, a moving from an actual state to a desired state. In LPS again moving from an actual state to a desired state, but in a routinized purchase situation it is an actual state problem. Information search in EPS will be extensive, in LPS will be limited, in RPS will be minimum. Um, information sources uh, will be restricted to internal and external sources for EPS, internal sources to LPS and very restricted to internal sources only in the case of RPS. So, for EPS uh, inter both internal and external sources will be referred to, for LPS it is mostly internal sources and for RPS it is going to be internal sources only. Uh, number of brands considered in the case of EPS will be many, LPS will be several and RPS will be one. So, you can see um, number of sellers considered also in the case of EPS will be many for LPS several and for RPS one of you. So, you can see here very clearly that because they are considering number of brands and because they are considering number of um, uh, sellers, uh, the in EPS uh, it is very highly involving. Okay, they are putting in lot of effort, physical effort and cognitive effort to search for information and to look around for information. So, 
the level of involvement in EPS is very high. Coming to evaluation of alternatives uh, for uh, high involvement, it is complex, uh, for um, LPS it is moderate, for RPS simple, number of product or services um, evaluated is going to be many uh, for EPS, LPS will be moderate, RPS will be one or none at all. So again here if we see the level of effort or the level of involvement is going to be high. Purchase in the case of EPS will be gradual after a cognitive process. In the case of LPS will not be so gradual, in the case of RPS it will be immediate. Post purchase a cognitive dissonance is very high in the case of EPS, it is highly involvement product, so the cognitive dissonance will be very high and it will lead to brand loyalty if the person is satisfied. In the case of LPS the cognitive dissonance will be very rare, uh, in the case of RPS there will be brand loyalty and repeat purchase. So a post purchase processes for EPS will be high involving as compared to RPS where there is hardly any activity at all. Uh, time spent in purchase is going to be large, so level of involvement, physical, cognitive and time involvement in case of EPS is large. In the case of RPS is going to be very small, very minimal. Uh, the type of goods, specialty goods and very expensive goods for which are high involvement for EPS and convenience goods low involvement for RPS. So that is how we can basically uh, compare uh, the, uh, the various products high involvement and low involvement on a continuum and relate it to consumer decision making uh, or the various steps in consumer decision making. Now uh, something here uh, which we will talk of is again very uh, significant that depending upon the level of involvement whether it is high or low, the process will vary in terms of the sequence of how the three components cognition, effect and behavior are arranged. Uh, this is Assel in 1992, he spoke about the hierarchy of effects for high and low involvement decisions. So he said in the case of uh, you know, you, we already discussed cognition, attitude and behavior earlier. Cognition refers to knowledge, information and belief. Attitude is how positive or negative or favorable or unfavorable you feel or about uh, from evaluation of beliefs. And behavior is the overt action in the form of a purchase or a postponement of purchase or not purchasing at all or purchasing brand X over brand Y. So Asil said that in the case of high involvement, uh, there is cognition followed by attitude followed by behavior. So the sequence is cognition, attitude and behavior. So if you see, if you buy a refrigerator, consumer will first collect information about brand. So that's cognition. He will evaluate them, prioritize his preferences. So form an attitude and then go in for the purchase of the a particular brand X over Y. So we see the, the sequence here is cognition, attitude and behavior. Again on the same, if you look at the same uh, three components as Asel said that um, you know the sequence will vary, the sequence of the three components here varies altogether. In case of a low involvement product, it will be cognition followed by behavior followed by attitude. For example, while trying out a flavor of uh, chips or chocolates, the consumer may first collect information on the brand purchase it, consume it and finally form an attitude about it. So what he does is he tries to, he comes to know about a brand, acts out, acts out in form of a purchase, buys it, consumes it and then forms an attitude. So this is going to have a bearing on his purchase of wafers in future, whether he continues with it or he changes it for in future. Now uh, let us come to the types of consumer involvement. Now as we just said a little while ago, depending upon the level of persistence, uh, we, we can define uh, involvement as situational involvement or enduring involvement. So depending upon whether the involvement is short term or long term, consumer involvement can be classified either as situational involvement or enduring involvement. In situational involvement, uh, there is a state of arousal which is directed towards attaching relevance to a particular product situation or person or object for a short term. So as an affect state, it creates a level of involvement where a person actually thinks about a particular product, person, object or situation. It's very specific to the purchase situation. It is very temporary in nature and will vary from low to high depending upon the situational factors. For example, a middle-aged woman wants to give a laptop to her son for her birthday. She is neither techno savvy nor does she have any interest in the product category. She just goes to the electronic store or the mall and visits the various stores that sells electronic uh, electronics and say they sell laptops and computers. So she collects information on product features, 
prices and finally takes the help of her uh, neighbor and reaches a final decision. So her involvement with the purchase activity is very situational, it's very specific to the purchase situation, it's very temporary in nature and is something which will be called um, uh, situational involvement. On the other hand, um, we, when we talk, when we, the level of involvement towards a particular product or service category extends over a long period of time across situations, it is uh, referred to as a long term and it is, it is enduring involvement. So, the person shows high level of interest with the product category, will spend a lot of time collecting process information and integrating it into his memory or into his memory or into his data base or his memory bank. For example, the person desires to buy a laptop for his son to be gifted to him when he goes to college, maybe three years later. So, the father plans well in advance. He tries to collect information through advertisements, through brochures, through journals, through visitors to dealer, through word of mouth from peers and colleagues. And in this way, he collects information and keeps collecting information, collates it and uh, by the time uh, three years are over, he is in a position to make a decision with respect to uh, the product or service category. So, he has developed an interest which has been long for a period of over three years and finally ends up making a purchase. So, the, the level of persistence has been long, level of persistence uh, with respect to the product category has been long enough. So, we call this as enduring involvement. Okay. Now, um, Enduring involvement with a product category often leads to the birth of a uh, opinion leader. Okay, so we will discuss about opinion leaders in uh, later on, but at the moment uh, we will just say that these are people who are experts in a product category and because they hold a level of interest in a particular category and they are experts, uh, you know, uh, people come to them for, opin for opinion. So, they are called opinion leaders. So, opinion leader is a person who holds interest in a particular product or service category and becomes a specialist. He gathers information, he knows about the product and he spreads information and knowledge that he has. So, uh, opinion leaders are product specific. So, in the example above, if the lady approaches her neighbor and takes advice because the neighbor is young or very techno savvy and knows about lot of computers and laptops, she would actually be taking help from an opinion leader. So, depending upon the level of persistence, uh, involvement can be long drawn when it is enduring or it could be short term when it is purchase a specific or product specific related to a purchase situation which is going to be very very soon and very very short. So, uh, depending upon this uh, we say that in, uh, involvement can be enduring or it can, can be situational. This brings us to an end of this session on uh, consumer involvement. Uh, we have discussed involvement, the nature of involvement, the types of involvement. We have also discussed the mechanism underlying involvement. And to now we will conclude with this session. Let us come to the references. Arcel Consumer Behavior and Marketing Action, uh, fourth edition PWS Kent, Lindquist and Sergi Shopper Buyer and Consumer Behavior Theory and Marketing Applications 2003 Biztantra, Loudon and Brea Bitta Consumer Behavior fourth edition 2002 Tata McGraw-Hill, Peter and Olson Consumer Behavior and Marketing Strategies seventh edition McGraw-Hill, Schiffman and Kanu Consumer Behavior eighth edition Prentice Hall 2004 and Wells and Prensky Consumer Behavior 1996 John Wiley and Sons. Frequently asked questions, question number one, define consumer involvement, discuss the nature of consumer involvement. So, you will first define involvement, then say what is consumer, how it can relate it to consumer behavior and how, uh, what is consumer involvement and then you will talk about the nature of consumer involvement by giving all these characteristics of consumer involvement. Question number two, what are the two types of consumer involvement, discuss with an example. So, we have already discussed this example, uh, you can say that involvement is of two types, situational and enduring. Self-evaluation test and quiz, uh, section A, true and false. Consumers approach the marketplace and corresponding product or service offering with varying levels of an intensity of interest. Is this true or is this false? Well, this is a true statement. Two, high involvement consumers are more difficult to please and satisfy. This is again a true statement. Three, in terms of low involvement, there is cognition followed by attitude followed by behavior, C, A, B. Well, this is wrong. It is not cognition, attitude and behavior, but in low involvement it is cognition, behavior and attitude. Fill in the blanks, dash is defined as a psychological state that motivates people to be more aware and careful about uh, their, about products, uh, about persons, situations and objects. 
So what is the answer? The answer is involvement is defined as a psychological state that motivates people to be more aware about persons, objects and situations. The length of time that a consumer remains in this heightened state determines the level of, it determines the level of persistence. Question number three, in terms of high involvement purchases, the sequence across the three components is cognition, dash and dash. It is cognition, attitude and behavior. Multiple choice questions, the antecedent moderator and properties of involvement finally converge to a response in the form of information search, information transmission, only A, information search, both A and B. So answer is both A and B. The question number two, the properties of involvement include all but one of the following identify, intensity, direction, unipolar and persistence. Well, the answer is C. Uh, the characteristics are intensity, direction and persistence. Unipolar is not a characteristic. Finally, coming to short answers. So, define consumer involvement. So, you can define what consumer involvement is, level of interest, level of intensity of interest and personal importance that people approach the marketplace with is involvement consumer involvement. So, what is situational involvement which is short term arousal directed towards relevance to a person, object or situation and a purchase situation as such is situational involvement. And finally, what do you mean by antecedent factors and moderating factors in, uh, in, 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 in involvement. So, antecedent factors are those which precede and lead to involvement and moderating are those which restrain the impact of antecedent factors. So, uh, these are the uh, various, this, this brings us to an end of the uh, session on consumer involvement, uh, today's session. We shall continue with the session again tomorrow and talk more about the consumer behavior models based on involvement. So, I hope you have benefited from this session. Thank you. <laughs>